yapping now cuz i left last that's an overpaid little rex riding oh, there it goes what is going on guys and welcome back to the vlogs so if i'm being honest this week is going to be a little bit different because this week is finals week the week after week 10 in ucla's quarter system where all the finals are and because of that this week is probably going to be a lot of grinding but either way i just wanted to encapsulate the entire experience into hopefully around a 10 minute vlog i hope you guys enjoy the rest of this video but real quick guys before the video starts as you can see i'm so close to 100,000 subscribers so if you could please subscribe and help me reach that goal that would be amazing now on to the rest of the video being at UCLA is a good mix of both having fun and studying. And because this is finals week, I thought it'd be good for me to show you guys a little bit more of my studying side. I'll be showing you guys the best places to study on campus and some other things, so stay tuned. The first place is the dorm room. It's really underrated, but there's no one really here to bother you, and you can have your mask off however long you want. <laughs> So this little study area, <clears throat> so this little study room slash cubicle slash area is like underneath, um, wah! So this little study area slash cubicle area is actually an Olympic hall, which is underneath the Olympic dorm rooms. It's especially nice if you live in Olympic Centennial or Hedrick, which are three of the UCLA dorms because they're so close to the dorms and because they're open 24-7. All my chem classes were. Thank goodness it's over. This beautiful little study spot is called Bomb Shelter and it's on South Campus. So this is one of my favorite study spots for two reasons. One, there's a whole line of restaurants from Yoshinoya to Blaze Pizza on the inside to the right there. And we're actually able to order food from those restaurants from the swipes in our meal plans. This way, I can let the salt from my tears season my food as I eat my sorrows and insecurities away, all while I'm studying. Two, the bomb shelter is beautifully designed with a lot of trees and plants, not only to provide shade 24 seven, but also to make sure the studying environment is green and alive. It's definitely a nice change of pace from the other study spots here on campus. The next place I'm gonna talk about is Kirkhoff. So Kirkhoff has this nice patio area outside and even a nice coffee shop inside where you can use swipes for matcha and coffee. This area, like bomb shelter, is outside, which means you can get some sun and vitamin D in while you're studying. Ignore the fact that it's cloudy outside. It also has this really cool gothic feel, like you're in a castle courtyard or something. So if you haven't already guessed, this is Powell Library, which is probably one of the most famous study spots here at UCLA. And there's a good reason why. There's a lot of places to study, it's always quiet, and let's not forget the freaking architecture. I mean, look at the inside of this place, and I already showed you the outside, it's amazing. But like I said before, it's always quiet, so if you make one tiny noise, one slip up like dropping a bottle, the entire place turns around and stares at you. But being in here for too long can get a little bit repetitive and exhausting, so be sure to hit the other outside spots when needed. So the next place I want to talk about is Young Library. Young Library is a research library that's located on South Campus. The bottom floor and the top floor have very different studying environments. This is the top floor. It's quiet up here and there's not a lot of people to bother you, so it's good for concentrated, focused studying. There are a bunch of little booths like the one that I'm sitting in, and each one of them has a window so you have a nice outside view from the top floor. This is the bottom floor. It definitely has a more modern library feel, and it even has these little cool couch booths like the ones behind me that are full of outlets and even have TVs that are there for you to use. I think that this area is ideal for group studying because the couch booths are designed for everyone to be able to see each other. And while it's quiet, it's not too quiet, so group members can converse and collaborate comfortably and talk about how much the quarter system sucks and, <clears throat> sorry, what were we talking about? Oh, yeah, 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 Young, young Library is awesome. How's it going, y'all? Welcome back to Nachua, the place with the best vlogs. <laughs> Nachua, baby! Nachua! Is that an end? 
Ah, uh, here we are, back at Olympic. And like I told you guys before, because I live in Olympic, this is a very convenient study spot for me. So I showed you guys the cubicles, but this is the general study area. There are two floors with the bottom one being the less quiet one, which is ideal for group studying like I'm doing right here. Dude, Rain looks so <laughs> tan. <laughs> oh, look. It's a picture I took of you the first time I ever came here. Ah, look at you, so young and happy. Where do the years go? All right, that's a wrap on day one. And at the end of each day of finals week, UCLA does the midnight yell. All these people. Oh, there he goes. Because Daniel, with Daniel sleeping, we're just gonna... Uh, This man's sleeping on the floor. <laughs> Morning guys, this is day two. Me and Randon have our final at the same time for the same class, so yeah, God be with us, man. All right, so I finished my first one, my first final. It went. <laughs> okay, it was definitely harder than I thought. It's fine. Yeah, on to the next one. Hopefully it goes well, hopefully. No, let's put together, let's put together. What a grand place. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> the marks have passed off first. All the erasure marks. So sad. <laughs> so, um, so now we're at the very front. Uh, oh well. <laughs> All right, so done with both of the midterms. Um, I thought it went well until I found out that it didn't go as well as I thought, but honestly, I think it should still be okay. So I'm finally eating lunch. I didn't get to eat breakfast, so I ate uh, like a banana and it's like 3 p.m. Man, finals week is a grind, but it's almost over. I got one more final left, guys, one more final. I got plenty help ever since day one. Celebrate the moments that we live in. Pull up with the squad and now we can go. No lie. I promise I'll always be lit there so <laughs> Aaron brought tacos for us while we're studying. Yes. Yay. All right, since we're both extremely dead, we're gonna go heat up the tacos and consume them. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Uh We always record when you're sleeping. <laughs> so another one of the study spots are the floor lounges. So typically in each dorm room, there are different floors and each one of these floors has a lounge. And even though these lounges are relatively small, there's not a lot of people on each floor. So it's never really overcrowded. If you need a space away from your roommates, but still not that far from your room, this is the perfect spot. And I figured as long as I'm here, I might as well give you guys a couple tips while you're studying. One, get an iPad. It is the single most important investment I made in college. It's great for taking notes, doing assignments, and pretty much doing anything you need for school. I'm out of time, so I'm gonna give you more study tips in the next study spot later. Morning guys, it's a new day. Me and Caleb still have finals. I have one left, Caleb has two left today. But um, this boy is done. Yeah. Congratulations, man. But also I'm really salty, I really want it to be done. I can't be very loud, but Caleb's over there taking his next midterm. Literally one of us has like a test pretty much every single day. And so we always have to be like helping each other with our stresses and stuff like that. So it's a difficult week, but it's something that all UCLA kids have to get through, so. We're eating before we study for our last midterm. We have 14 BL. He's not part of this, but he's here. <laughs> My turn. Try it. <laughs> Take a look at my beautiful chicken. It's cool. Bro. Take a look at Iris' chicken. <laughs> Even though I'm crapping on those dishes, UCLA has the best dining hall food in the United States. So make sure to stop by and fuel up because studying on an empty stomach is not good. Mm. <laughs> My glass has the hand cannon, so I thought it was about time that I copied. <laughs> yeah, let's get the grind. This is another floor lounge, so let's get into some more tips. Two, definitely get enough sleep before your finals because there's only so much your brain can remember when you're half dead. Three, don't forget to take short breaks while you're studying. Go out for a walk. Go talk with some friends. Because again, there's only so much your brain can remember when you're half dead. Four, while you're studying, remove all distractions. Make sure your phone is turned off. That way you can use your time most effectively and you'll have time for other things. We have one more day and then 
It's the last final. All right, so it's one day till my last final and I figured I might as well hit the study den here at the study. It's also called the blue light room and it's really cool, especially at night, so. Let's finish out this last night of grinding. So like I said, this is the study den, or the blue light room. It's one of the many places to study at the study, and even though it's relatively far from everything, it has some bomb sandwiches that you can eat while you're studying. Along with Olympic, it's probably the best place for late night studying because it's open 24-7. The study has a good mix of both individual and group studying areas, so you can choose where you want to go based on your need. Also guys, there's one more study spot that I'm going to cover right before my last final, so don't leave just yet. I hope you guys learned a little something from my suffering. Remember that finals week is something that everybody has to go through and it's not the end of the world no matter what happens. Make sure to reach out to friends and people that you trust if it ever feels overwhelming for you. Each time in the morning when I open up my Bible and pray, I'm reminded that God is in control and he loves me and he cares for me and he has a plan that's far greater than anything that I could ever imagine. So don't be too stressed and just do your best. All right, so it's the next day. Um, it's the last day of finals and they already finished their finals so they're all gone so I'm just here alone And yeah last night was really weird because nobody else was in the room when I was sleeping But either way it's time to finish this off strong God would you be glorified So here at UCLA we can use our meal plan with these things called swipes And basically we can swipe into pretty much anything on campus including Panda Express This is one last meal before the final so this last place is called Ackerman. I really like this place because it's outdoors and the architecture makes it very interesting to study there. It's also basically in the center of campus so it's not too far from classes or from the dorms. But most importantly, inside there's a variety of different restaurants like Panda Express and Veggie Grill where I can use swipes so I can enjoy food while I'm suffering. Last it's final. go time. It's go time, let's do it. Last final. All right, we finished here. You can see I went in sports mode. Um, It was... Okay. Yeah, we'll see, we'll see. Goodbye, Royce. I'll see you in a fat minute. Yep, so that's all the time that I have for this week. I really hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and got something out of it. Make sure to like, comment, and please subscribe if you enjoy content like this, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Guys, just a quick update. I got my grades for everything, and everything seems okay. So guys, please don't stress too much over this. Just study hard and do your best. Thanks for watching.